Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Virgo. My fellow Virgos, this is your weekly general reading. This is for the 3rd through the 9th of August, 2020. Now Virgo, please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading, and always remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. Now, you might want to pause the reading real quick. I'm using the Angel Answers Oracle, so you may have a question. You may need confirmation, okay? Whatever, whatever it is, all right? You might want to take a minute to ask the angels, your guides. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, angels. What does my fellow Virgos need to know? What do they need to hear right now? Ooh, we are ready. All right. Opportunity. And look at that. Look at that. Gold nuggets <laughs> are coming down. <laughs> Love it. That's amazing. Beautiful. All right. It's an opportunity that is going to uh, definitely bring in financial gain. Okay. And it looks like quite a bit. <laughs> Love it. All right, spirit. What does my fellow Virgos need to know? Third through the ninth, spirit. Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. All right. Thank you, spirit. Virgo. Whoop. Virgo. All right, we're ready. One flew out. My guide said keep it. So it'll be an extra message. We have strength. Beautiful. Powerful energy right there. All right, Virgo. Current situation. We've got the Queen of Cups. In your foundation, we have judgment. All right, what's benefiting you this week is the Two of Wands. Crowning you is the Princess of Pentacles. And your outcome energy, beautiful, Eight of Wands. Here's the, here's the uh, phone call, okay, the news of this opportunity coming in here. Oh my goodness, I love it. Very nice. All right, Virgo, we have two eights here. We have the number 88. I always tell you guys. Go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation, all right? So, we have opportunity, okay? Your angels and your guides are letting you know that you're going to be receiving news that is very exciting, okay? Uh, this is a new career. This is a business opportunity. You know, for some of you, you know, you see... This gold just showering this angel right here that's flowing down. This opportunity could definitely have to do with the legal situation. Those of you that are waiting on an inheritance, a trust fund, lawsuit, anything like that, you guys. This could also be a contract, all right? And I tell you what, it's 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 nice, all right? This is this is quite a bit of whatever this is that's coming in here. I don't mean whatever it is. This is money, okay? This is material gain right here. But what I mean is that no matter what the situation is, career, business, it's going to be a lot, okay? It's going to be more than enough. Let's just put it that way, right? So very powerful. Now you have strength, the energy of Leo coming through here. You know, and this is so powerful. This talks about how courageous you are, Virgo. How much inner strength and wisdom and knowledge that you hold within. Some of you are going after your heart's true desire right here. You're going after what makes you happy. Some of you are going after a dream, okay? And Spirit is saying, you've got this. You've got this. Somebody needs to hear this. The only person, okay, that can stop you from achieving your goals is you, Virgo, okay? 
That's for one of you. You need to hear that. Don't procrastinate to the point where you completely miss out on something that is huge, okay? All right, so we have the Queen of Cups. I love it. As your current situation, this is whether you're female or male, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Some of you may have water in your charts. I definitely feel like you're embodying this energy. You are definitely listening to your intuition, your own inner guidance, okay? This is you understanding that, that psychic flow of, you know, energy that is flowing within you and through you, okay? This is you understanding you are divinely guided. This is you tuned and tapped into that flow, Virgo. I feel like many of you are in communication with your guides, okay? And, you know... It's powerful. That's what I'm getting right here. Ooh, look at the hair on my arms. I just got goosebumps too. This is a powerful energy. You know, Virgo, if you're a manifester, if you like to work with the moon, I, I tell you what, this moon that's coming up, I think it was Pisces as well. Uh, I've seen, you know, in my mind's eye how powerful this full moon is going to be for them. And it's the same for you, Virgo. If you want to manifest, set your intentions, whatever it is that you're doing, go for it, all right? Do it, because this moon is going to be powerful. I feel like whatever you're setting your intentions on, whatever you're wanting to create and manifest and bring into your reality, it's going to happen. I feel like it's going to happen very quickly, okay? So if you was thinking about maybe doing something with this full moon, be sure and do something with it because that's coming through from my guides, all right? Wow, I'm definitely going to do something, okay? <laughs> wow, that's just amazing. Love it. Now, I'm also getting, for, for one of you, you have... <clears throat> I'm getting a presence of an older female that's around you. Um, this could be a mother, or this could be a, an older woman that you look up to, maybe a mentor. I feel like you have her on your mind very strongly, okay? She could be ill or sick, okay, and you've been tending, helping with her, or checking in on her, okay? That's what's coming through. You guys look... Leave me a comment and let me know if that message was for you, okay? Now we have judgment in your foundation, all right? <laughs> I love this. You're, you're, you know, this is what's driving you. You're fixing to close a chapter in your book of life, Virgo. You're doing a review. You're making sure that you are taking, you know, time to look at what you've been through in this chapter, in this cycle, okay? You're learning. You're learning from the challenges that you had. Um, you're seeing where you might have done things differently, you know, and when you do this, that's knowledge. Knowledge is power, right? Okay. That way, when you close this door, you know, you're going to close it and you're not going to be carrying any baggage or any of those energies with you, okay, in this new cycle. And to top it off, when you take time to learn, okay, from what you've been through, most likely, you are not going to repeat anything that you don't want to repeat, okay? This talks about rite of passage and second chances, all right? This is a rebirth in, in a way for you, okay? And, you know, you are doing what you need to do, okay? That's Virgo. You're making sure that, you know, you got your back covered and you're ending this cycle the right way. So nothing can come back and bite you in the butt. That is so Virgo. I love it. I'm just like that too, you guys. You're ready to start a successful new journey here with this amazing opportunity that's coming in here. And then look at this. You have the two of wands in the position of what's benefiting you this week. Virgo, this is you stepping into your personal empowerment right here. This is you knowing that it doesn't matter which door you walk through, which path you walk down, which decision you make. You're going to own it. You're going to rock it. Okay? That is powerful. You know you can do whatever you set your mind to do. And this is you going after it. Okay? Woo, you are too. 
you know what you want. Ooh, I love it. Now we have the Princess of Pentacles in your crowning position. This is you, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. All right. This is a new beginning right here of, you know, starting to see some financial gain. Okay. Some material gain. For some of you, this is something coming in from the past. Like I said, this could be, you know, something you've already planted and nurtured. And now it's, it's turned into, you know, a harvest. And you're starting to see money coming in from it. This could have been something you invested in. Legal situation, inheritance, a trust fund that you're finally getting. Maybe a lawsuit. And I do feel for many of you, this is talking about a new beginning here for you as well. And I feel like this is what's coming in here with this Eight of Wands. It's going to allow for you, you know, to have some financial success. All right? And it's practical. It's, it's down to earth. It's realistic. Okay? Uh, what you're going after here, you know, I feel like you have passion for it. You want it. It's going to make you happy. And you're going to be making some money. Okay? And to top it all off, some of you are going to be traveling, okay? Or maybe you're moving, all right, with this Eight of Wands. <clears throat> Could be you're getting a career opportunity that's going to allow for you to travel, okay? And I feel like that's what you want if it is. This is definitely exciting news coming in here. What you've been putting out into the universe is coming back very quickly. What did I say about manifesting with this moon that's coming up, okay? Powerful. All right? You're going to be so excited and so happy. Okay? You're going to be jumping up and down, Virgo. There is so much, you know, energy that I'm feeling right here. And it's all positive. This is for the betterment of your situation. You deserve this. You've earned this. And you know it. And you're going for it. I'm so excited for you. I love it. That is awesome. All right. My fellow Virgos, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. You guys, please leave me a comment. I read them all. All right? And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, my fellow Virgos.